Let me bring in the great Paul Murray, who joins me ahead of his program tonight. Paul, great to see you. Hello. Loved your analysis last night on the Tasmanian election, especially this ridiculous situation where Jackie Lambie is going to sort of make the call based on nothing. Well, I mean, uh, her own candidates admitted in profile pieces that they literally had no policies, that essentially vote for us because we're the vibe. That's democracy. That's garbage. Um... Jackie Lambie is a very popular protest figure, particularly around the north and the northwest. And given the size of the electorates and the numbers, that's where we get with two or four people that will end up in a position. Um, she's already said no to the stadium. But again, in practical terms, I can't imagine who can govern Tasmania. OK, if it's Rockcliffe and he's able to put together uh, La you know, Lambie plus David O'Byrne, that's fine. But you know, at the first the first sign of scandal, yeah. it's going to be Lambie. We're walking away from this this mm. this evil, awful government. Mm. If it's a Labor Party, it literally is sort of the Tower of Babel. It's just not going to not going to work. So I don't know what's going to happen. But can I make a bold prediction for the this week? At some time this week, Jackie Lambie will say, "I will back the Liberal Party if Rockcliffe's not the Premier." Right, something like that, and if the stadium is moved and this sort of thing, and I mean, she's hard, she, I mean, she, this is a woman who's hard pressed to sort of keep us all functioning in the Senate properly, and yet she's trying to run the Tasmanian politics. Let's just have a, a look of some of what she had to say. What we'd like to see is some transparency coming out of the parliament of, in the state of Tasmania. Is the Liberal Labor Party, if we've got a form government with them, does that you know, does that mean that they're going to be transparent? It comes down to trust. Trust is the magic word here. What I want to see first and foremost is them putting Tasmania first. Just meaningless dross, but if she wants to run Tasmania, then get out of the Senate well, and go run Tasmania. This is absolutely it. I mean, Nick Xenophon did exactly that. Remember when he was trying to, uh, at one point in time, poll saying he'd be the next Premier yeah, of South yeah. Australia, ended up with, I think, one seat in the upper house, maybe. Um, I think that it's fair to say, it's look, I understand when you, are, when you force people to vote, and people don't trust politics, don't like politics, don't like politicians, they're going to vote for the person who says, I agree with you on everything, and then they agree with the next person on everything and the next person on everything. It's a certain level of nihilism that I honestly think is quite corrosive and destructive mm. because the reality of politics is, and it's not about because it's Liberal or Labor, it's just at some point you have to, and certainly at state politics, it's about service delivery. Yeah. It's about really boring nuts and bolts about schools and yeah. hospitals. Pick someone who can do it. Correct. So, so if you want to take your talents there and to become to become the kingmaker, instead, literally, she was on Saturday night saying, maybe we won't pick anyone yeah. and then our maybe MPs can just oh. train for three years. It was embarrassing. Now, the yeah. thing is, why do we force people to vote in this country? Agree. And then we force them to give preferences. So instead of making their choice to who to govern, they have to flow all the way through. 100%. It's a mess. And when you look at news poll, here's where we're headed federally. Yeah, well, this is it. I mean, like, I think that you've seen that as the teals were to the Liberal Party... The Greens are going to be to Labor, yep. all right? And I think that particularly the closer you get to the epicentre of cities, like the best thing for the Labor Party right now is Tanya Plibersek and Albo staying where they're staying. But at some point when they go, they're going to become green seats, right? Um, you're going to see uh, in Western Australia a, a little bit of a correction, but I think Libs get a bit overly excited about how big a correction it yeah. is. The Teals aren't going anywhere. Um, I think it's going to be very difficult to blast them out because Australians... Once they get a taste of an independent, like, say, Rebecca Sharkey, Helen Haynes or, uh, or Andrew Wilkie or, or Catter, they keep sending them back, regardless of whether they're good, bad or indifferent. They keep... So I think we're going to get in this scenario where, uh, according to News Poll today, they're going to need uh, the best part of six seats. Oh, sorry, they'll go down to 73. So they need another three seats to form a government. If that's the case, I think they can get there with Wilkie, Haynes, Sharkey. But if it goes any further down than that, like, say, a Di Lee pops up, another version mm -hmm. of Western mm -hmm. Sydney, say, the Greens pop one in, uh, in, uh, in Queensland, mm -hmm. well, then we start getting down to, well, OK, maybe the lefty Teals will back us in. Well, OK, if you're that far down... Well, then you start to open up to the Greens. Oh, so. mate. Look, mate, I could talk all night because your West Tigers got up. Oh, how good! How <laughs> good! And, and uh, I disagree with you violently on how uh, Kate Middleton should put all her medical records Just out honest. there. Just, Just be, be honest. Just be honest. I mean, look, 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 look again. We all love the Queen, God love her. But the idea that her death certificate says old age is, is not. Oh come it's on! I reckon a lot of old people. Get, a lot of old people get that on their death certificate. Do they? Keep the argument going. I nine o'clock. Actually, I will research. I reckon and they I'll do. Report back to you tomorrow that you can tell the listener how many Australians technically died of old, old age, age last year. We'll see. Good stuff, Paul.